Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. If you want to be notified about the new videos that we post on this channel, then please subscribe to our channel right away. In this video, I'll show you how to make creative icons in PowerPoint. We all know the power of icons in sprucing up our slides. Especially when you have a boring list-based slide like this, it is quite difficult to hold the attention of the audience. Now take a look at how I can make the same slide a lot more interesting and visual by using photos but by using them as icons. Now take a look at this slide. It is the same thing but then with interesting visuals that give a visual cue for the audience to hang on to. We have a photo for genetics, one for sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy diet, obesity, etc. You can always find these photos from public domain sites like pixabay.com. Now the question is, how do we make these icons from photos? Now here we have four photos and I'm going to show you how you can convert them into useful icons which you can use for your slides. The first thing I'm going to do is to make them all look consistent. And I'm also going to make them look circular so that they resemble icons. Now, if you want to convert any photo into a circular shape, all you need to do is to click on the photo, go to the Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, then go to the Crop tool here. Don't click on the Crop icon, but click on the small arrow right under that icon. Then go to Crop to Shape option and then choose the Oval tool. Oval tool allows you to crop this rectangular shape into a circle. So I'm going to choose under Basic Shapes Oval tool. Now as you can see this is more of an ellipse rather than a circle. So I'm going to go back to the same drop down menu once again. I'm going to go to Aspect Ratio this time and I'm going to choose the option called 1 is to 1. It means that the height and width are of the ratio of 1 is to 1 which is the ratio for a perfect circle. Now what I've got is a beautiful circular photo. I can do the same for any of the other photos as well. Now let us say we have a photo of this nature and we want a circular crop that is in this area. So let us go to crop, crop to shape and go to oval tool and then let us go to crop and say aspect ratio 1 is to 1 like the way we did earlier. Now you can always grab the photo and then move it to position the circular crop wherever you want. Now this is where I am happy about and then I am going to click outside and now I have another circular photo. And just to ensure that all the photos are of the same size, you can pick up one size that you are happy with. Let us say this is the size that I am happy with and see the height and width here. It is 2.8 inches and if you want this also to be of the same dimension, you select that and then you manually input 2.8 inches for height and width. That ensures that all the pictures are of the same dimension. Now to add a bit of spice to these photos, you can select a photo and then apply a simple style. So I'm going to select the photo, go to picture effects and choose one of the presets. The preset that I like quite a lot is preset 5 which looks like this. As you can see there is a bit of a bevel, there is a bit of a sheen and it also stands out from the slide because of this shadow effect. And I can apply the same effect for the rest of the photos as well. And now when I have them, then I can arrange them in this order and I can write my title right next to them and then make the slide look a lot more interesting. So that is how you make icons out of photos. And they come in quite handy, especially when the subject matter that you're dealing with has very little possibilities of icons available. What you saw was just one of the ways to make your PowerPoint presentations better. Imagine creating beautiful, creative slides that capture the attention of even the most distracted audience. Imagine knowing the insider secrets of PowerPoint that only highly experienced designers know. 
You can achieve all that and more with Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. It is the only program you will ever need to truly master PowerPoint. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. If you want to get started with designing your PowerPoint slides in a creative way, then please join our free snackable PowerPoint course. It is a useful email course with 10 super short emails with step-by-step -step video tutorials that teach you creative PowerPoint techniques you can use in your next presentation. Please click on the link here to join the snackable PowerPoint course and I'll see you inside the course. Thank you.